I fell in love with a Scorpio. It's a crazy story though. She was super pretty, the baddest in my portfolio. She was super sweet, I would eat her up like a Oreo. I don't know how I got her, I'm giving God all the glory though. And she was born in October or November. I really cannot remember. I hope it doesn't offend her. She told me that she loved me because I was so sweet and tender. And I would always defend her. And I was not a pretender. <laughs> but one day she was acting so mysterious. I was curious, and honestly, I was furious. Wasn't talking to me, she really had me delirious. I was overthinking, I didn't know she was serious. I thought maybe she had found somebody else but honestly she told me she was working on herself she took some time off to focus on her mental health and i had to accept it regardless of how i felt huh. but all in all what i learned in the end is i love scorpios i swear scorpios are 10 but be careful because as soon as you get in what's up y'all this is 1028 awakenings and i'm dropping names today all right so the new names will be coming out today for the pot i will not be putting up the old names anymore okay so just to let you guys know that is the move that we are about to make what's up y'all i'm sorry man i had a nigga start today <laughs> like this this start was so what time is it <laughs> just it's 2 38 y'all i'm just literally waking up right now you know to to be able to come to y'all so i'm really sorry about my delay but it was much needed rest it was it was much needed okay that my body needed that okay so what's up y'all let's see what the fuck going on for my scorpios how y'all doing now somebody said people need to feel bad for putting witchcraft on people okay we need to talk about this and these words that we be using okay even witch all right we are supposed to be associating ourselves with goddesses sometimes i be like i'm a witch and i just do it just to get a kick out of people because people just so fucking stupid okay <laughs> you know not in no disrespectful way you know we we'll all do respect but it just be like calm down okay this natural stuff people be like oh you're gonna do that yeah it's not ain't nothing gonna fucking happen to you people so scared of the minute things but they're not scared to uh see their whole future run down the toilet because they want to invest in something that's that's free and sovereignty you know what i mean i ain't talking about bitcoin but y'all know i'm talking about bitcoin okay all right so scorpios what's good okay what's goody let's get into your reading Let's see what song is crowning your reading for today. How y'all doing? I got some stuff I need to do. I'm talking about hitting the flight. All right, so we have Take Care by Drake and Rihanna. I know you've been hurt by someone else. I can tell you the way, I can tell the way you carry yourself. If you let me in, here's what I'll do. I'll take care of you. I'll take care of you. So Scorpio, somebody, all right, got their walls high in the sky. This could be you. Because y'all know we don't be playing. We be like, oh, okay, we did what we need to do, but pff, putting the walls right back up, okay? But somebody is like, I'm not finna hurt you, nigga, okay? Scorpio, this could, you be, this could be you telling this person this. Like, I ain't finna hurt you. I I'm finna fuck with you, okay? Uh, but this, know, this person know you've been hurt before because of how you move and how you act. Because this is how they move and how they act. You are mirroring uh, someone who is hurt, Okay? And uh, they really do like you, Scorpio. Uh, they want to take care of you. Now, when it comes to Drake, you know, Drake is one of them people who be like, what's up? You know, real TLC type nigga. <laughs> okay. And Rihanna is one of them, you know, rude gal Jamaican girl. She don't give a fuck. And if it comes to a point where you're going to violate, she going to violate worse. Okay. We also have chasing cars. Damn. We'll do it all. Everything on our own. We don't need anyone or any. We don't need anything or anyone. If I lay here, I just lay here. Would you lie Would you lie with me and just forget the world? Okay, so when this person is with you, they forget about all their fucking responsibilities, what they're supposed to do. You know, you are like that time out of space. You know how you be like, time in time. You know what I'm saying? And whoever this is, they, they chase your car, nigga. They chase your shit and they want everything with you. All right, Scorpio? Um... They just feel like if y'all had each other, then y'all would be good. Everything there is, is the bomb. Somebody feel like everything you got going on is their way out, okay? And this is somebody who said, man, I'm going to take care of you. I'm not going to hurt your ass, all right? Let's see what this is about. Damn, Scorpio. <clears throat> 
So this is somebody, it says someday, somewhere, another time. So this is somebody who does not want a kid at this time. You do not want a kid at this time. Y'all have both expressed to each other, there's no kid coming at this time. This card right here, dude, with one day around in reverse, this is an unexpected pregnancy. So you have to be careful, Scorpio, because this is like a spiritual baby, you know, made out of love, passion. It could be less, but I wouldn't say that because right now we're going into the equinox. I think we're like 13 days away. We have post shadow from this energy and it's allowing people to clear out old things and move into a new and also not to hold the old shit against nobody you know what i mean like i wouldn't say we put bygones be bygones but god damn so this is somebody who made mistakes they had misunderstandings they acted like a vis victim and they were a lost soul they're not like that this is somebody who definitely understands the solutions are out there they're created the same time a problem is this person does not act like a victim they be like okay so what's the problem all right this could be this jamaican person and with lost soul this person definitely knows where the fuck they're going all right Somebody is at a breaking point. Something don't fucking make sense that they tired of this. So somebody is doing some extensive snooping, Scorpio. Who the fuck is this, okay? So somebody is like, uh-uh, this is the final straw. Something about this doesn't make sense. Somebody is very overwhelmed with something. Someone is investigating, Scorpio. What the fuck you got going on? So somebody is doing a thorough investigation, okay? Because they're at their breaking point. This is somebody who... um I don't know what these kids here in reverse and it's it, in this uh, mistake. Somebody is taking accountability of their actions, but at the same time, this is making somebody else look at something very strange. Okay, we got breaking point. This bitch is like, what the fuck is going on here? All right, so somebody is like, what the hell is going on? Somebody is like, nah, this is not coincidental. All right, somebody is very overwhelmed. They hot as fuck and they paying attention to a lot of details in the background. You know what's crazy about this? Me and my best friend was talking about details in the background, and I'm like, nobody looks at that. He like, yeah, people be looking that shit bitches this could be a nigga too they are thoroughly investigating what you got going on in your background and your pictures what 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 is what what's happening okay because somebody is like uh-uh something ain't right yeah so somebody's about to call somebody they're gonna be like we need to talk so scorpio if you date your somebody and y'all not exclusive or y'all just in a situation ship they are in a situation ship with someone else and that person is like bitch we need to talk this could be you scorpio you could be like hell nah something about this shit don't match somebody is paying attention to more than what they're supposed to be paying attention to and so oh lord all right but ain't nobody got nothing all right we got sexually transmitted disease in reverse but they definitely fucking okay this could mean fuck it raw <laughs> All right, love spells. Now we have love spells here. So Scorpios, we were talking about spells earlier. And let's get into it because Spirit wants us to. All right, so a lot of you guys who be talking about witchcraft, you do witchcraft, okay? Let's explain what rich what witchcraft is witchcraft is when you um talk about people when you come on youtube and you're like god is gonna condemn you that's witchcraft all right everything that we've learned to do oh you remember when we was in school and we had them gel pants okay my boyfriend was deshaun rubin i used to be like deshaun loves ashley rubin okay and i would do the gel pants that is another form of witchcraft writing names down using different colors putting hearts and shit all over it you know casting spells jointing the names together also so what's very powerful with witchcraft is cursive writing. So every time you write your signature, your John Hancock or whatever the fuck it is, that is another form of witchcraft. All right. So I just want these dumb assholes who be on here talking about, oh, burning sage is witchcraft. Doing a bitch, what is you talking about? God made these things. These are these are not man-made things that you putting in your your body, you know, like chicken wings and wine every day. Okay. Wine actually is okay if you get a you know real from california grapes and shit so that's not really that bad but like i said before um whoever this is they got they breaking part somebody believes that you fucking bruh and it's out here okay they with sexually transmitted disease they mean everybody clean but everybody is busting it down and with love spells here somebody just feel, feels like you did some kind of spell on their ass all right now i do want to talk about love spells there are love spells that that are out there i never recommend anyone do a love spell okay now, let's talk about love spells because y'all want to talk about witchcraft. Masturbating and thinking about somebody is a uh, spell, okay? You're not supposed to be doing that. Now, you are supposed to be thinking about you and a G-Wagon and stuff like that. And I mean, maybe that'll come after the climax, <laughs> okay? But when you when you look at somebody's picture and you stare at them and you masturbate, you are calling that person to you. Now, when it's mutually doing it, it is intense, okay? It's to the point where you see this person all the time, not physically. But like I said, in the 5D, somebody was like, well, how do I stop it in the 5D? The best way 
uh, for you to cut those ties is to get two candles, all right, and get a string and tie one over here, tie one string over here, one string over here, and that means the candles will be joined together by a rope, okay? Now, you want to make sure these two candles are sturdy in some kind of holder, and you just want to carve your name on one candle, carve the person's name on the other one, and this is like a, a spiritual <clears throat> release, okay, because you have to like reform it. You always have to reform what you're doing, and you just say, I break any karmic ties with this person and myself and whatever good that I need to keep in my life, I keep it in whatever good that they have in their life, they keep it, and we let each other go in love and light. Our karmic lessons are done, and I release you with love and light, and then you just light that candle as that candle burns down the wax will the 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 string will catch on fire and it'll go together and it'll burn that is a spiritual transformation of you and that person cutting ties and letting go if y'all serious about cutting ties with a motherfucker do a ritual but some of y'all ain't serious y'all like uh -uh, i want him back i want her back okay but somebody coming to bring your ass something because somebody is having a breaking point now this is somebody that this person stopped having sex with okay so this person don't have sex with this person but this person is like i don't know something is going on we need to talk okay we got love spells here so somebody is very you know, somebody tripping, shawty. And somebody like, I'll take care of you. Somebody obsessed with you, though, okay? And it's because in a past life, this person protected you. This person loved you. This person cared about you. And this is strong. These past lives are coming in just like this spring equinox. You cannot stop it. You know, there's going to be people that you meet and you have a strong bond with them. You ain't never even met this bitch. you like, girl, that's my ride or die. you like, bitch, you met her last week, Tuesday. But I know her and it's deep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're like, it is deep. Okay, Scorpio. So somebody has a huge obsession with you. They're addicted to you. All right. They like everything that you got going on and they can't help it. Okay. And whoever this is, you are having sex with them raw. Sexually transmitted disease in reverse. It's clean. It's safe. And then we also have breaking point. So somebody is concerned about what you're doing with somebody. Because you is fucking, all right? Somebody, something about you is just angelic. This person is very unique. You could have had an imaginary friend growing up, all right? But this is this is very important, all right? You are a natural born leader, all right? Uh, also, people who are having sex with people that y'all really like, man, y'all better use that time to manifest. Don't be just busting nuts, man. Bust nuts. Think about where you want to be. Think about the money you want to accomplish for this year. Think about how much you want to take away and how much you want to invest, how much you want your life to do a quantum leap during this um, solar eclipse. Also, you if you go to a public school your your kids your teachers are going to say that it's okay for them to be outside in the solar eclipse it is not it is not they will not burn up or do nothing like that but i'm just telling you is it is not a time for them to be outside during a solar eclipse you won't catch no rich people telling you to do that because they already know don't do that okay you won't catch no private school doing that because they already know don't do that <laughs> okay now, Scorpio, somebody's thinking about being in a courtship with you or that someone is in a courtship with you. And this is somebody who's obsessed with you, all right? This could be somebody who kissed you on the forehead or who could put their hair in a ponytail because this nigga got his hair in a ponytail, okay? This is also somebody who is with you at night or under the stars, okay? A desert, a desert could be significant as well or open space or open field or... I don't know. There's like an open field behind y'all, okay? But this is happening in the stars with this courtship, all right? And it's in this fucking spiritual baby, all right? Somebody want to talk to you too? Somebody is watching you, nigga. This, let me see who the fuck watching you. Let me see. Breaking point. Who the fuck is this weird ass bitch? <laughs> okay, so you got a weirdo out here watching you, Scorpio. We got to find out who the fuck this is. All right, so somebody got their breaking point with you and they watching you. Who is this person watching Scorpio? This could be a nigga for some of y'all. Some of y'all, this is a female. This is somebody who's a perfectionist. So if you go into their house, um, well, okay. It says dating a perfectionist can be a challenging experience as they tend to apply pressure for things to be 100% and absolutely everything. All right. So Scorpio, that could be you. You could want things the way that you want them or whoever this is that's watching you. They want things the way they want it. Okay. Um, and that's who the fuck is watching you. Who else is watching Scorpio? So somebody who is a perfectionist is watching you, Scorpio. Also, this could be somebody who goes to the gym way too fucking much. They're a gym freak or they're very obsessed with their appearance. Whoever this is, they are watching your motherfucking ass. This is someone who's obsessed with going to the gym. All right. They obsessed with working out. All right. They're like, I got to work out. I got to get this gym shit in. All right. You also have somebody who's a perfectionist. I think they zooming in on you too. Like, hold up, motherfucker. All right. So somebody feel like something's going on. 
okay and then you have a struggling artist um artists are great partners so this could be somebody who has a business but it ain't doing shit all right and then ain't nothing wrong with that you know you got to go through this struggle here okay we got work affair right here so whoever this is that's thinking about you scorpio they go to the gym way too much this bitch be working the fuck out or this be a nigga all right they do have a mac computer as well all right this is also a perfectionist and they they watch it they think you get a new you're getting a new beginning so whoever this is, they think you're getting a new beginning. They're watching you. They don't like this shit. All right. Ooh, and they think you got a lot of money. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so whoever this is, you got unexpected income coming in. I feel like this is you, Scorpio. You also have a new beginning. Um, somebody is watching you. This is somebody who goes to the gym a lot. All right. <clears throat> they watching you. This you. So whoever this is, they think you put curses and hex on people. They think you do witchcraft. They think you have a negative mind. This bitch need to get a job or this nigga need to get a hobby, okay? We got sorrow. You bring somebody great happiness, okay? You take away somebody's grief. You make somebody non-depressed. Somebody wants to have no boundaries with you. They just they just want to have you however the fuck they want to, all right? Somebody feel like you put a curse on their person. Man, y'all got to stop with this bunch shit. Let me tell y'all too, it's about witchcraft. It has to be accepted, okay? So if somebody make a little dumbass doll of me and then I I'm like oh my arm hurt i have to believe in that dumb shit do i believe that dolls are real yeah but do i believe that somebody low vibrational that will make a doll about me can really hurt me hell nah okay i'm god <laughs> and that's what i'm trying to tell y'all god is not outside of you it's inside of you and if you understand that the only power that can penetrate your aura, the only power that can do that is the one you let in, all right? So it will be a nigga you let in, a female you let in, your parents you let in. That's the only thing that's going to throw you off your game. Other than that, I don't give a fuck what that bitch say about me, okay? How does it slow you up in any way other than you heard, oh, that bitch said this, this and that? You let it go. I mean, people say tons of things about me. I mean, not really, but, you know, they, they may say I'm a witch. You know, they don't say I'm a hoe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they will say I'm a witch. And at the end of the day, if you think I'm a goddess, if you think I'm a witch, if you think I'm a person who gives out information, if you know that God is about love and you know that everything that I talk about here is really just doing the right thing and being in alignment, what really makes good sense to you, not fucking a nigga because they want to fuck or fucking a bitch because they want to fuck, but fucking somebody or having sex with somebody or making love with somebody or genuinely giving a bodily exchange with somebody because you care about them is way more higher. You'll get way more vibrational power out of that than smashing and dashing okay whoever this is you are having sex you do got some unexpected money that's just gonna fall into your lap it could be just what you need in a nick of time all right you're not putting no curses or hexes you could be a scorpio um baby though you could be born a scorpio all right and people could be talking about that like you know them scorpio people you know like what scorpio people are the babies who are born on valentine's day all right now valentine's day is another situation because that is a time where you are having sex with somebody at that time and and honestly those relationships la don't last you know and it's because it's, it's based off of a ritual that is not healthy okay so be very careful about having sex on valentine's day but don't be careful about giving flowers on valentine's day because we need that fuck on the next day you know what i'm saying bye y'all see y'all later <laughs> Scorpios is really private, but we'll sting if you get close. Huh? And they rule by planet Mars, they stay determined, then don't go. go. Don't make a Scorpio strike because they venom pack a punch. So you better come correct, cause like a shark, you can't get much. Scorpios get what they want, and what they want is what they get. That's they appreciate the ones they love, they ain't worth the fake shit. Uh -uh. They don't really like people switching up, and they can't be kinda controlling like bitch. Shut the fuck up Shut Scorpios up. are leaders and they always think ahead And they also open minded so you gotta give them cred give them. If you date in the Scorpio and they like you They will make you happy They also like a meal so in the kitchen no, you can't be like Scorpios are often trendy and they got the best drip And they do not disappoint man you just gotta tap in Tagging shit this video to a Scorpio you